Based on things we've learned thus far in this video series, let's go ahead and make a complete example from start to finish. I'm going to make a new notebook from the file menu. Let's create a list of prime numbers. Now I don't know how to do that in Mathematica yet, so I'm going to go ahead and use the freeform input to help me accomplish that task. So I'm going to hit equal sign and create the free to, to create the freeform input cell and ask for the first five primes and hit shift enter to evaluate. Now when we get that list of results back, uh, we can click the Wolfram language code to discard that freeform input. Let's go ahead and edit the command uh, to get the first 25 primes by changing the 5 to a 25 and then reevaluating. We're going to want to use this list of values uh, with other calculations. So now I'd like to assign a variable and I'll call it my primes and then assign it using the equal sign. Now let's make a new subsection with Alt-5 called plot the data. And then we will plot the data uh, using the uh, function list plot, open square bracket, and then choose uh, my variable of my primes, and then close the square bracket and hit shift enter. I have a feeling I'll want to refer back to this plotted result, result later on, so I'm going to create one more variable called my primes plot, and then equal sign, uh, to assign it to the list plot command. Now let's go ahead and continue by fitting a curve to that data. We'll hit Alt-5 and create a new subsection, and we will call it fit the data. The command then, uh, in a new input cell, uh, that we're going to use is fit. So we will type that and then select its template. Now we have to fill in the first argument, so that's where we will choose uh, my primes. And then we need to put in the functions we want to fit. So let's assume a quadratic fit, which means we need uh, curly braces and the list of 1, x, and x squared. Uh, for the second argument, and then finally we put in x for the variable, and we can hit shift enter to evaluate. Now let's assign this result to a variable called my fitted curve. So we can make that assignment and evaluate it uh, to complete the variable definition. Now it's time to visualize our fit. So let's create a new subsection again with Alt-5 and call it plot the fit. We'll use the plot command uh, to plot my fitted curve uh, where x goes from 0 to 25. Let's also add in an option so we can put in plot theme uh, and as we do that the command completion gives us a pop-up window with different styles to choose from. Let's actually select web to see what it looks like and we get a plot that's red and a little bit thicker. Finally, let's save this result by assigning it a variable, which I will now call my fitted plot, uh, I'm sorry, my fitted curve plot. By now, we've created two different graphics. One is the original data set, the other is the best fit curve. We can combine these two different types of plots together by using the show command. So let's do show open square bracket, my primes plot, and then also with a comma, my fitted curve plot, close that square bracket, hit shift enter, and now we've got them together uh, so we can see them on the same set of axes. Let's go to the top of our notebook. We'll add a title uh, using Alt-1, which I'll call complete example. Now maybe I want to change the style of certain cells. I can hold down the control key and click one by one, or I can hold down the Alt key and click on the cell bracket of a certain style of cell, and when I do that, it selects all of the cells of that type in my notebook. That is an easy way to convert from one cell type to another, or to apply formatting like changing colors or sizes. So let's hit Alt uh, and then click to highlight all of the subsections, and then we'll use uh, Format, style and section to change them into sections uh, cells instead. Now that we've done that, let's open up the slideshow palette from the palettes menu. 
and then we will convert our existing document into a slideshow. We'll want to put in slides uh, each time a section cell is encountered, so we can check that box and then click the button to finish. And now we set the screen environment to slideshow uh, to look at the full presentation uh, of what we've created. So that's the end of the set of hands-on getting started videos. Uh, as a reminder, my name is Cliff Hastings and my email address is cliffh at wolfram.com. If you have any questions or feedback for me, please feel free to send me an email and I'll do my best to help uh, or I'll get you the assistance that you need. All the best and I'm sure you'll have a great time and make a lot of great things happen once you get started uh, with Mathematica.